Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm in the office uh, Zoom room for their class meeting. No one's come yet, so I'm going to head and record this uh, sort of introductory part of where we are, where we're going. Um, and if someone pops on at this point, that's great. Uh, but I'll uh, I'll make this available to you. So here we are. It's uh, we're halfway through the next meeting uh, next week after the. Uh, sort of coronavirus lockdown that we have, um, and welcome to the class. Uh, we are, um, I'm just going to update on what I've gotten in the grade book. So I've got a couple things I'm going to show you. Uh, as far as tests are concerned, um, we're going to wait a little bit. I'm waiting for the coordinators to get a final on uh, how proctoring should be done. It appears what we will do is uh, we'll have a Zoom meeting. You'll You'll join a Zoom meeting and then I'll be able to give passwords out. That way uh, you will take a test. Um, and right now that it looks like we're gonna do all the tests deeper into April, closer to the, the actual due date so we can get more people to take it all at the same time. Um, and then we will proctor you uh, through um, Zoom video. Uh, we'll, again, we'll work through that. Uh, so right now what you, what you need to be doing is just working on topics pump out those topics. There are uh, the problem set. Problem set two was due. I have extended, I'm going to show you that, I have extended those due dates. So if you haven't got them in, go ahead and do that. Um, I will be the one that'll be grading them. Uh, so give me a little bit of patience on that. The IAs are working on the ones that are already submitted. They have this week to finish up the grading. So be patient with that one. Uh, you're they will be reviewing those. So let me share the screen with you. Let's see, it's this one over here. So this is our uh, Canvas course. I'm in student view right now, so this should be the same thing that you see. Um, notice that we just have the two problem sets. I'll, I'll put problem set three up in a little bit for those that are ready for it. Uh, but I'm just going to click on this. Here's the instructions. Notice it is available until the 27th. It was due on the 19th, and that's what I'll work with with the IAs. Anything after those days, I will personally grade. I I just want you to be able to do them, and I know that um, many of you have been uh, traveling, trying to get home, or uh, trying to get to a safe place. So this has been a uh, a wild time couple weeks for for all of us unexpected so we will make um, we will make adjustments here so um, the PDF is here now you don't have to if you don't have a printer you don't have to print it off you could just pull it up from the screen write it on a piece of paper um, or if you've got a tablet um, you know put it on an iPad or tablet uh, and then upload the file just show us your work and your answers Okay, or so however you do it, and then uh, re-upload re it as a PDF. Um, and, and just let me know if you're having any issues. We want you to be able to do it. Secondly, I want to show you, I, I updated uh, the grade book, and this is kind of what I'm going to ask you to do. I, I know many of you are still working and you still have other things. Uh, if you go into your grade book, click on grades, this is student grade book. Um, it, it may have it arranged by due date or module or what I want you to do is click on assignment group and click apply. That organizes the grade book so that the things I'm gonna talk about right now are all at the bottom. Otherwise they're kind of scattered. I, you know, cause they, it, anyway, this is what we want you to do. So it's down at the bottom here that's of interest. You've got your cohort number. Uh, you've got the total topics that you've done so far. Um, this is the student, and I, these are kind of numbers. I'm at 225. Is about where you should be, maybe a little bit higher. If you're below that, then, you know, again, this is a time to work and get your topics up there. There's topics per hour. Now, some of you have a blank here because uh, this is a topics per hour since the last knowledge check. So if you just had a knowledge check, it might not have had time to recalculate this. But what I do with this is this number helps you to know, notice how many hours you would have left at that rate. So I'm working at 3.5 hour topics per hour at that rate with what I have left, 145 to do, it's gonna take me 41.4 hours. Um, now, 
could, you know, if I pick up speed, it could take me less, but that's, you know, that's a one week full-time job. Um, I wouldn't want you to just sit for 40 hours and do it, but, but it gives you an idea. If this number is high, what you're going to want to do is, is work to be a little bit more efficient as you work through things and try to get more topics done um, quickly. And again, learning happens as it happens, but look at your situation. Can you, um, I know I, I kind of fidget a lot. I go get a snack. I do this, I do that. Um, and, but when I focus, I can get things done. Um, but I can also waste time a lot. I know that's about me. So look at your personal situation, what, whatever you need to do. Uh, keep it fun though, too. So the other thing I've got is I've got a, a sort of a goal of trying to get done by April 17th. That's two weeks early. So the other topic goals uh, may or may not get you there. And you can always take uh, the total topics less divided by the time, how many weeks, and that can give you what you're going to need to do. But uh, for this particular case, I need to do 41. So just doing the 30 topics per week of the topic goal, that's not going to that's not going to cut it for me to get done by 417. So if I want to get done by 417, I need to up my game, get to 41 topics per week, which I've also given a daily goal of six topics per day. And again, it's it's all rounded um, without partial topics but uh, so if I focus on and that's kind of what I'd like you to do now is especially if you're uh, like me and you're um, kind of on lockdown not you know I'm not leaving the house I'm here uh, pretty 24 hours a day I go outside but fortunately we have a backyard uh, but that's about it you know uh, so if you can you know crank them out look at this as a daily goal and, and your learning will be deeper and better that way as well. Uh, so six topics a day and I'll be right on track. Now if I want to take a day off, this is working seven days a week. So if I take a day off, I gotta up my goals on others. So maybe if I did seven per day, I could take one day off. Or I could do eight a day and take maybe two days off. You know, whatever however you want to look at that. Yeah. So five goes into 40 about eight times. So that would do it do a five-day work week um, however you want to play with it but I, I just want these numbers here and I want you to focus on just doing topics crank out those topics come during office hours come during the um, the class the scheduled class time where I'm in zoom because then we can I can pull up topics and give you some give you some assistance um, you don't have to be present in those times but you need to be working on topics and I know that we're now spread out over many different time zones. So coming at class time might not be a good time for you. Some maybe it is, but um, so there's all sorts of things going on. Please just be safe, take care of your health, take care of your family's health um, and take care of your mental health. I, it's, you know, when we're on lockdown, let's, uh, let's keep it going. Okay. So I'm going to end this video, this recording part, but that's kind of what I want you to focus on right now. We'll get back to you about how the testing is going to work. And, um, but just work on those topics. All right. So now I'm going to stop recording.